Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, perfected light beings of our Earth Angelic Team of the 144. In this time of planetary liberation, we step into our roles as way showers and guides of the new Earth to lead the way by example as conscious, compassionate beings of light. In the passion of the Christos consciousness, we realize our true nature of Buddha mind and resolve all things perfectly with our pure intent. In the gnosis of the universal truth, we come into the knowledge that nothing is as it seems nor is it otherwise. In the paradox of this realm we experience that everything is intrinsically empty, so there is nothing to cling to or be attached to and fully release all that is hindering our awakening in the light. As the crystal palace in the center of the brain is activated, the sacred mana of heaven pours down from the still center and fills the holy vessel with the nectar of the gods and transforms the lead into gold, the physical vessel into the avatar of light of prime alchemy. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful invocation. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. 144 coming in. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 2 degrees, 24 minutes, Taurus. The sun is at 5 degrees, 58 minutes Aquarius. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 8 degrees Aquarius. Beautifully gowned wax figures on display. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 3 degrees Taurus. Steps up to a lawn blooming with clover. From astrologyweekly.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Valerie A. Elster. Feeling big dragon celebrations the past few nights, entering the halls of Amenti, Emerald Heart, from ValerieElster.com. And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Jennifer Catron. The soul is moving through all dimensions, all parallel timelines, universes. It's on earth to collect soul aspects of self, the soul monad, the oversoul, the metasoul embodiment, that is it, the human story dissolving. If you're here as a galactic incarnate, Christos, mission, new assignments are dropping in, higher timeline presenting and anchored. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Sophie Gregoire, there is a way for you, different from what you thought, different from the past, different from what others would do. A unique, so authentic drum is calling your name. There is this one response that's uniquely meant for you, that is your divine path. This way out and up is emerging, now that you are letting go of ego plans, overthinking, unhealthy traits, ancestral wounds or control, all is well, your path is assured. From SophieGregoire.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light Ramona Lappin Remember who you truly are and what you came here for. Rise, cosmic dragons, rise. Let's light up the whole cosmos with the infinite power of true divine love that we are. Igniting heaven on earth from deep within our wide open, sacred crystal hearts. Now. And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Elizabeth Peru. Important message. Beautiful souls, as you head into the weekend, consider this. It's been a big week, one where you've most likely been challenged on deep personal levels. That's what happens when we enter a retrograde free world. You can move ahead and achieve so much, and yet many around you will feel lost without their usual crutches. That is, dramas triggered. While most people will say that they want newness and a freer life, Doing the actual work to achieve this state is easier said than done. Are you doing your personal work? Have you been on the path for some time? If so, wonderful, keep going and stay true to your path, 
even if those around you are in a different trajectory. Become the role model and lead by example. It's how the world is uplifted, one soul at a time. From ElizabethPeru.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Jennifer Okangale. The portal of the Blue Rose is now open for anyone willing to go into the Heart of Hearts. The Heart of Hearts is a temple and it's where we can receive advanced heart technology of the Sacred Heart. Through temple memories of the etheric realms of Venus, I remember this place, and the keys to the wisdom of Cosmic Mother that it holds. I can see Venus above, smiling with pleasure, maintaining hope in the seemingly unattainable. This temple maintains the absolute highest standards for the expansion of love energy. There are no stories of sacrifice, martyrdom, crucifixions, or bleeding hearts. This is the heart of hearts temple space you reach when you've walked through the red rose mysteries. When you've walked through the valley of the black rose with its thorns. This is the rose which no longer needs thorns. Because once you get here you are ever protected. You have cultivated an anchor within the center of your being. Anchoring you to the highest standards of love. It's open to all equally when we lay down our heart armor and go into the deep portal of the blue rose. Blessings of renewed innocence where pain is only a memory. From CelticGoddess.org And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ama Grace. Soon a long and slow-moving comet will come into our sphere with the closest encounter on February the 1st. This comet, which was discovered in California in March last year, is categorized with the name C2022E3ZTF. Indeed, these comets are not here by coincidence. Their visits are divinely orchestrated as harbingers of change, emanating the next evolutionary keys and codes from outside our Milky Way that will catalyze our next collective evolutionary leap. A massive game changer that is cosmically aligned with the planetary bodies, constellations, and synchronized orchestration of the great shift. So, this harbinger of light will come right in time for the 2 2 gateway to kickstart this collective quantum leap in consciousness. These comets, I was told, are actually not uninhabited pieces of rock, but disguised as such, but are spacecrafts of immense size. Consciousness held in form and harbingers of immense and radical change. Get ready for a wild ride. Think in terms of miracles. Acknowledge your divinely given role as conduits of divine will. We are here to make the change, to free this planet from thousands of years of slavery. I hear that this comet is the great liberator, or rather reminding us that we are our own liberator. From GraceElohim.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Grandma Chandra. How you see your life. In the old movie theater, there were two reels and there was a film in between each reel. The old linear stream of your life when one image was projected on a screen is all changing. Now you are in a situation where there are multiple reels of film. Every moment you can show a different image on the screen because now you are in different lifetimes and multidimensionality. Your perception of how you consciously perceive your life is changing. It is not an easy shift. Old habits are like trying to hold on to single real images. Instead of imagining these linear lines of film, start seeing, feeling, expecting, or receiving that life is much more like a space of probability or a space of potential events that can happen to you. What I am trying to explain to you is that even though your vibrations are very, very high and you are doing your best to be as multidimensional as possible, your concentration is holding to this old movie theater picture. I am helping you to unglue yourselves from the space and allow yourselves to see your life as an energetic field or a quantum field. Understand that all these events can happen simultaneously in different times and spaces, in different galaxies too. Your intention is the focus that you can use directing it through this energetic field. 
Your intention will be attracting or forming the space around what you desire to happen in reality or 3D. This is a very different picture of how your life will be happening or projecting in multidimensionality without holding on to single real images. Hugs and love to you all, Grandma, from GrandmaChandra.com From Divine Sistar of the Light Erini, Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy Athens, January 27th, 2023, The Solar Field DNA Access to Nectar and Ambrosia I was asked by our grandmother goddesses and grandfather gods to deliver the following information, 144 flowing in. I believe this is one of the most important messages I have ever received. Please note that I do not have a time frame in which this will occur, but from my personal work, I know that this process has already started. Message. In the next period, shocking events will occur that will cause the opening of the solar field in the human organism which was out of reach and inaccessible due to previous interference with the human axis. The solar field resides inside the body. It is connected to the solar plexus, and it will be accessible again because of the sudden move and restoration of the true axis that will take place. The whole experience of the process of restoration of the true axis, the human realignment to it, and the human reconnection to the solar field will vary from individual to individual, but it could even be violent or painful depending on one state. This is because via the solar plexus area, people had lost access to the true axis. Thus access to true nutrition, and they used to apply power and control over themselves, others, energies, and situations in order to survive and feed. So this area is very tight and closed for many, Please know that trust in the self will be restored and the stomach will stop eating the way it used to. But until this will be fully completed, there might appear intense stomach symptoms and strong emotional issues in order for the distortions to be felt, recognized and addressed through conscious healing. The field of the stomach will be totally changed and the sense of true inner power will return. Illuminating the inner worlds and allowing access again to the living light and the nectar and ambrosia that the divine DNA needs. This process is part of the reading of the personal book of Revelation, which is now begun for many, and via the tree of life process, it can be done easily and in safety. I guess this message confirms many types of crisis that many people are going through. While the disillusionment of the false ego personality is taking place, and big parts of the inner programmed tape are being fully erased, all controlling and codependency patterns and habits will be clearly felt, seen, and released as the sense of the actual personal inner power and the true presence of the healthy identity will be returning in the process of reconnecting to the flow of the true source. Upon our realignment to true source, no one will have the need to feed of another anymore, as the essence of the living light of true life will be running in our inner worlds, providing us with love and every nutrient we need. Our DNA will be able to be fed again by nectar and ambrosia. Blessings of Disillusionment Erini From Divine Sistar of the Light Aurora Ray the Galactic Federation is coming to Earth. Are you ready? Dear star seeds and light workers, the Galactic Federation is coming. It is time for all of us to unite in our mission. The time has come for us to prepare for ascension, and we have been sent here as a reminder that there is much work to do before we can leave this physical plane behind forever. For a long time, the Galactic Federation has been helping us with our spiritual work and clearing our minds so that we can ascend. They are here to help us all. The Galactic Federation wants to share with us a new message about the current state of our planet and how we can help prepare for ascension. At this point in history, I believe it is crucial to spread this message. The Galactic Federation wants us to be ascension ready. 
This message from the Galactic Federation is about how you will ascend and what you can do now to help our planet and those around you ascend more quickly. The more people who listen to this message, the greater the vibrations of love, light, and truth that will be emitted from their hearts. The Galactic Federation wants us to be prepared for ascension, so they have sent a team of light beings to help us prepare for this momentous event. This group of light beings will assist with preparing your bodies and minds for ascension, as well as helping you connect with your inner guidance system so that you can hear from your guides and angelic beings during this process. You are now being tested to see if you are ready for ascension. It is a test of your faith and trust in God, your higher self, and the divine plan. You must remember that each one of us has a purpose here on earth that has been set forth by our Creator, God, Source, or all of it. Our bodies are changing as we hold this frequency of light and love, and soon they will fully adjust to this new vibration. We need to be patient with ourselves and each other because we are all going through a lot of change right now, both on an individual and collective level. If you feel alone at times, know that there are many people around you who are also feeling the same things that you feel, but they may not be able to express it as openly as you do because they do not want to burden others with their feelings and thoughts. Many people do not want to burden others with their worries or fears either because they all feel like there is nothing they can do about it or because they feel like no one else understands or cares about what they are going through. So why bother sharing it with anyone else? I know how hard it can sometimes be when we feel alone or afraid. We cannot control what happens around us. However, we can control how we react to those circumstances. It is up to each of us to decide whether we will allow fear and stress to take over our lives, or we will choose love instead. You are the most important being in the universe. You were born with a gift that is beyond measure. And you are here to be of great service to others who are also on their way to becoming light workers. You have been given a great responsibility by God, and it is up to each one of us to fulfill our role as star seed or light workers by working together as one team in order to achieve our goals on this planet. We need each other now more than ever before because if we do not work together as one team, then we will fail at accomplishing our missions within this lifetime. It is your destiny as a star seed or light worker to help set up a new system on earth that will allow everyone from all different walks of life, worlds, to coexist peacefully with one another without any conflict or violence happening between them at all times. The Galactic Federation is here to assist everyone in forming a connection with Source through meditation, prayer, and meditation exercises. They want to create a world where everyone can connect with their higher selves and find peace within themselves. They are also here to teach you how to manifest what you desire through your thoughts, words, and actions. This is only possible because we have already done it. As members of the Galactic Federation, we already ascended many thousands of years ago when we left our physical bodies behind in order to continue our spiritual journey on other planets throughout the universe. We are not alone. We are not alone in this universe. There are many places and beings that we could call home if we wanted to. We are all children of the stars and we have been waiting for this moment for a long time. We have been waiting for our ascension, and the time has come. Now is the time to make contact with the Galactic Federation and make friends with the light beings that surround us. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. We are the Galactic Federation. Ha-ho, Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation from the thegalacticfederation.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica, Window of Light, do you feel the stillness, the waves of light reaching you, flowing ever so gently, a still point in this now moment? For many personal circumstances may cloud the higher light perspectives. Find the moment to align with the higher light waves, riding the ebbs and flows of light as the path before you. 
for we are reaching and attuning to the flow of the universe as we collectively awaken to the light frequency beyond our dimension. I am shown many light pathways available for travel, stretching beyond this reality, the expanded light view, as we integrate and view our light perspective from a crystalline point of view, for as we individually expand, we collectively expand. Continue to find and expand your higher light space, move beyond the narrative of your world, and find a wonderful space of stasis in the higher realms. Your task as a light navigator is to simply balance your viewpoint of your reality. Expand and be in harmony, sending waves of cosmic love, the Arcturians, and Karen from KarenLithica.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, 144 God Code. Spending time alone in peaceful solitude this weekend will help reflect on your inner light. Focus on getting stable, calm, and grounded back into the body. More intellectual understanding is surfacing, helping you see relationships from a new perspective. It will be easier to move with the flow of energies now that you have been released from those karmic ties that dimmed your light. This slowdown will help shift priorities towards receiving your rewards for all the inner work you have completed. Knowledge is providing structure, making it easier to take charge of emotional triggers and abandonment wounds, rather than them controlling you. The power is returning back into your hands, beloveds. Continue letting go, moving on, and allowing this process to mold you into the real you a sovereign, dependable, reliable leader of your life. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you, love Carolyn, from 144godco.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Venus enters Pisces. A sweet note of perfume lingers in the air. It winds its way into the heart, softens and comforts, Relationships become fluid, and it's easy to see the best in others under this influence. Still, remember to keep boundaries clearly defined, as blurred lines can cause confusion. Don't let others take advantage of your good nature. Be mindful of where and how you spend your money, for it too is a form of energetic exchange. Channel compassion and kindness intuitively. Resist any urge to put others on a pedestal. We are all gloriously human. Artistic and spiritual pursuits bring inner harmony, especially a feeling overwhelmed. Channel emotional overspill into creativity or meditation to induce peace and calm. Curl up on the sofa with your favorite TV show. Pay attention to what brings you back to a sense of spiritual connection. Let yourself drift and dream without losing your anchor to reality. Happiness comes from acceptance. Love is a silver thread of cosmic connection. We are all one. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 254, White Resonant Wizard. Resonant is the name for the number seven, and its key words are channel, inspire, and attune. Number seven days are all about using your intuition, trusting your gut instincts, we all have this ability, but sadly too often we ignore what we feel. Listen carefully. Spirit is always trying to send us messages. You just need to tune your receiver. If you regularly practice fine-tuning every time we have a resonant day, in time you will sharpen your psychic abilities. I call this calendar yoga for time, because it is this regular discipline of important practices that really does yield results. Today is white wizard and keywords associated with it are enchantment, receptivity, and timelessness. The wizard of the Zolkeen is a charming character who can mesmerize all that encounters him. If you are a wizard, you are always charming, but when it's your day, you have even more power over others. So be careful how you use your charms. We can all take a leaf out of wizard's book of spells and enchant others too. Enchantment can occur in pleasant surprises, chance encounters, or magical journeys. Today, if you use your intuition, it will lead you in the right direction. 
A psychic wizard is one who knows intuitively what spells would work on who. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, White Resonant Wizard, 7 Ish, Keen 254, 27th of January 2023, Attuning to White Magic, Death of the Evil Dream Spell. 27 1 2023 20, equal 917 equal 98 equal 17 equal 8 day codes 27 power leadership command harvest nine endings completion destiny mission humanity grace 17 immortality legacy 8 infinite abundant source flow month year codes 1 new beginnings original unique leader independent Seven, Spiritual Test, Initiation, Solitude, Magic, Mystic, Magician. Eight, Infinite Abundance, Source Flow. Twenty, The Awakening, Clear Vision. Twenty-three, Royal Star of the Lion, Strength, Protection, Support. Keen 254, Equal 11, Portal, Equal 2, Partnership, Romance. A huge magical day today with the seven resonant tone and the white wizard equal double the magic. The white magic that our Ish wizard is casting today will break the evil hypnotic dream spell and through divine enchantment awaken the sleeping beauties. Alleluia! Divine providence is underway. White magic happens indeed. Day 7 of the spectacular yellow star wave spell where we are awakening our sparkle and using our creativity to attract more beauty, grace, and harmony in our lives so that our lives become a living work of art. Today we are becoming still and receptive in order to attune to the endlessness of the magic that surrounds us and fills our being with sparkle. Tone of creation, resonant tone 7 in the emotional realm, Action inspires power channel essence attunement. The resonant tone very powerfully ignites the manifestation potentials today as it provides the ability to fine tune and channel these magical forces. As our sparkle is ignited, we then inspire others who can see our light. Remember that it is our vibration that will energize our creation and that this is broadcast through our emotional body rather than our mental body. It is very important that we are stable, calm, and receptive to our feelings and what frequencies we are actually emitting as a transmitter to the etheric realm. Number seven is the frequency of the mystic and the magician, which is divinely perfect on a white wizardry day. At tone seven, our vibrating phenomenon learns to be still and to listen. Mystical seven understands that everywhere is magical, but right here is better. Once we attune and then channel the magic through this present moment that is available to us all. Today's question is how can I awaken and attune to the endless white magic and wisdom that surrounds me in order to create healing miracles and become inspirational to my kin. Wishing you a divinely charming and magical white wizardry day. Let us pray that white magic reigns supreme. It is done. In la ket shalakin. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 254, White Resonant Wizard. The mantra, the code for today is, I channel in order to enchant. Inspiring receptivity, I seal the output of timelessness. With the resonant tone of attunement, I am guided by the power of death. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. So if you'd like to support our work, our mission, this channel, 
help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world. You can make a monthly pledge or a one-time donation to the links at egolovecondor.com. I'd like to thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Susie Wasilik, for sending us a donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sistar. We appreciate you and your support. And we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you. So thank you all very much. If you'd like to send us a check or cash or gift, you can send that to our P.O. Box. The address is in the description below. I'd like to also thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Sally Benson, for an extra super thanks donation this month on YouTube. Thank you very much, Divine Sistar. We appreciate you and your continued support. And I'd like to also thank Divine Angel of the Light H for your super thanks donation today also. Thank you very much. We appreciate you and your support. I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with a powerful invocation from Divine Sistar of the Light, Emily Kate, from A Light from Albion. Invocation of the Peacock Blue Flame. With the assistance of the Andromedans and with the assistance of Archangel Mikael and Archangel Faith. I ask for the peacock blue flame to be brought down from the highest dimensions, to be brought through the third triad of my soul star, light body chakra, and crown chakra. I ask that the peacock blue flame is brought down through the triad of my higher mind, and then through the triad of my higher heart. At the level of the higher heart, it expands and connects with humanity. I ask that the peacock blue flame be brought up through my palms where it ignites and shines a light for reconnection. The peacock blue flame is a flame of reconnection of organic divine templates. It is the antithesis of dark matter. It is filled with harmony of twelfth dimensional galactic life. I allow the peacock blue flame to integrate the energy fields in my home, neighborhood, and workplace. I allow it to expand to my state, country, continent, and to Gaia in her entirety. I visualize my soul star, higher mind, and higher heart alive with the peacock blue flame. St. Germain's Meditation for Peacock Blue Flame I am integrated. I am harmonious. I am beautiful. I am alive. Blessings, Emily Kate. Ashnia Allah. Thank you, beloved beings of light, for joining us today on this beautiful, auspicious day. Have a most beautiful and blessed and relaxing weekend ahead as we continue through the ascension portal and into the next gateway of the two two. Keep walking gently the sacred path with heart, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.